Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Chimano Boniface. I'm going to teach you today mathematics. Then class is P P6. Then today we're going to focus on collection of revision questions. Okay, let us start from number one. The question number one is saying that we write the place value of underlined numbers. Here we're going to write only the the place value of unlined numbers. Here we have in the 2. Here we have in the 8. So, let us write the place value of this 8. So, when you are when you are writing the place value of a number, you know that this, this number is called the 1s. Then, the next number is called the 10s. It means that this 80, the place value of this 8 is the 10, 10s. 10s. Then, the next number is, when this one is 10, it is hundreds, it is thousands, then 10 thousands, then next is hundred thousands, then this unlined number, it, is, it, it belongs to million, millions, all right, millions. Then, number two. In the number, this number, show that the value of 2, where is the 2? It is here. Is greater than that of 9. This 9. It means that here we are going to find firstly the value of 2. After finding the value of 2, we find also the value of 9. Then we compare. Okay? So, first let us find the value of 2. The value of 2 is equal to what? So let's first we identify the, the place value of this 2. This, place, this 2 is, is belong to which place value? Here, 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s, then 10, 1000s, then 100,000, 1000s. Okay? To me that, here I want to take these two then we multiply by what? its place value this two is belong to which place value? it is belong to 100,000 thousands 1's 10's 100's thousands 10 thousands and 100,000 thousands One, two, three, four, five. Then it is equal to. So we know that when you are multiplying with a number which is having zero, simply we take this number and we add zeros. Two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then. Next, let us find the place value of 9. The value of 9. So the value of 9 is equal to what? First, let us identify the place value of this 9. This 9 is belong to 1 is 10. It means that I'm going to take it 9, this 9 times 10. The number which is having zero, simply you take this number and you add zero. It means that it is nine, then you add z zero. Then they are asking us to, to, to compare the place value of two and nine. How? So it means that this is the, the place value of this is the value of this two. This is the value of of nine. Then you are going to compare this and this. Therefore, as you see here, the place value or the value of DC2 is greater than the value of 9. The value of, sorry, of 2 is greater than that 
of 9. Cut yourself. So, next, let us move on. Number 3. The question number 3 is saying that round off this number to the nearest millions. We are going to round off this number to the nearest million, millions. We are having 1 million. 178,000 Then we are going to round off this number to the nearest millions. Firstly, we are going to find the required place value. The required place value. It means that to get the required place value, you are going to identify the number which is belong to the place value of millions. Huh? This is this is ones, tens, hundreds. Thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and million, millions. It means that this number, because it belongs to millions, it is required the place bar value. Required the press value. Then, after identifying the required the place value, next we find the number to the right. The number to the right of this required place value is what? 1. Number to the right. Then, when the number to the right it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, here we round it down. We round it down by adding zero on this number. But remember that when you add this zero, other number behind it becomes zero. Okay? Then when it is five, six, seven, eight, and nine, we round it up by adding one on the one place value. So here the number to the right is one. We are going to round down by adding zero on the one place value. Up. Take this number. One, I have told you that the, the, the numbers which, which are behind they become zero. This one is going to be zero, 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 zero. Then, because this number is drawn in this range, we are going to round down by adding zero plus zero. Okay, you can here put zero. Okay. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Then, by adding, here it is 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 1, 1. Therefore, when this number round of to the nearest million, it is it. Therefore, when this number round of to the nearest millions, it is it. This number. Good. Then let us move on. Number four. All are the following numbers in ascending order. What's the, the meaning of ascending order? Here, ascending order it is arranging number from the smallest to the highest. Highest. Then here we are having zero point six. We are having 2 over 5 or 2 fifth. We are having also 1.5. Then we are going to arrange those numbers in ascending or order. So here, this number is 0.5, but this one is the fraction. Then you are first you are going to work out this fraction. You are going to convert this, this fraction into decimals. Okay? How? So when you are taking a fraction, and we change it to a decimal, we use long division. So we are having 2 as the numerator, then divided by 5 as the numerator. Then, so here, this 5 is greater than this one. So when this number is greater than this one, what do we do? So here we put 0, then here we put 0 also and we put power. Power. Next is what? I want to find a number can you put here and multiply by this 5. Get 20 exactly or below. Which number can you put here and multiply by 5 to get 20 exactly? It is in 4. Alright. 4 times 5 is equal to 12. 20. What's next? 
we put here minus minus then zero minus zero is equal to zero two minus two is equal to z zero it means that this two over five is equal to zero point four zero point four then after all numbers are decimals then you are going to compare so uh, here we have in zero zero one we want first three the smallest it means that the smallest number it is between this number and this one because here we have in one so let us compare this and this zero zero six four it means that this one is the smallest so the smallest one is the zero point four or two over five over five let us write two over five two of five next we are remaining this and this one here we are having zero here we are having one this is the smallest the next is two zero point six then the last one it is one point five five all right so let us move on number five So here, number five, he says that Kamal collected five million six hundred eight seven thousand nine hundred fifty from flats from milk sales in this month. Write the amount in words. Here, the first thing happening here is writing this number in in words. It's very simple. How? So when you are having this number in words, first you can use place value. Then we know that when you are writing number by using place value table, we are having unit, the column of unit. Un, units. We are having the column of thousands. We are having the column of millions. Then, then, each column, we are going to divide it three columns in each. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. Then, this one is this first column, which is the column of ones. This one is the column of tens. Hundreds. Ones. Tens, hundreds, ones, tens, hundreds. Then this number we are having three groups. We are having this group, we are having this one, and this one. To mean that we are going to write this number, this number in this column of units, and this number in the column of the of this, and this number in the column of million millions. Then zero. Then you put the heading of 
this column, 1,000, but we move x, 1,000. Then, and what? This one, 900, 50. 50. Nine. Hundred. Fifty. All right. Then the number is five million six hundred sixty-eight thousand nine hundred fifty. The last one. Find the value of x. Here I want to find the value of x. So you have ten power two x times ten power four is equal to ten power ten. Then, this number is written in poor notation. How do you call this number? How do you call this one? This number is called base, but this one is called the exponent. Then, it means that this number or this one or this one, this is showing that the number of times this number has been multiplied by itself. Then, it means that here, this 10 has been multiplied itself by 2x. This x is unknown. Then, this 10 has been multiplied by itself by 4. Then, this 10 also has been multiplied by 10 times. Then, you see here that the, the base are the same. When the base are the same, by using the law of indices, here you are having multiplication. I want to use multiplication law of indices. So, when the base are the same, so it means that they also, you take this one, you write one base. 10. Then, you are going to add the exponent to s plus 4. When the base are the same, we write one base and we add exponent by using the of indices of multiplication. Then, it's got what? This one, 10 power 10. Then, this base and this base, they are the same. What I'm going to do, to mean that this exponent and this exponent, they are the same. They are equal. Then it is equal to 2x plus 4 is equal to 10. Then we are going to resolve this equation. How? So here we don't want this number. This part is a part of four variables. But this one is a part of four numbers. So it means that we are going to take this number in this side to this side. How? Then it is 2x is equal to what? So it is 10, but we don't want this number here. Then this number when it goes in this direction, it changes this sign. Instead of being plus, it is going to be minus minus. Minus 4. Then 2x is equal to 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. Then this number is multiplied on x is equal to this one. Then when I want to find this x. Here there is the number multiplied on x. To find this x, then take this number and you divide by this one. x, simple x, is equal to this number 6 over 2. Then x is equal to what? 6 over 2, or 6 divided by 2 is equal to c. 3. Then you can say 5 when you want. It is a homework I'm going to give you. Replace this 3 in this permutation. You can replace this 3 here. And you, you verify whether this one times this one is equal to this one. It is your task. So, thank you for watching this video. So, see you next time. Thank you.